Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at how you use a Chromebook in tablet mode. So that would mean if you've got a hybrid Chromebook, as soon as you spin the lid around and turn it into a tablet, it automatically goes into tablet mode. And that would show you something similar to what you can see on the screen here. Now, this is the same if you've got a pixel book um, a pixel slate, sorry, um, where you can detach the keyboard, or if you've got one of the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet Chromebooks, which also you could detach the keyboard, you'd see something similar to this. Now, Chrome OS has had quite a few updates to make the, uh, the tablet experience much better. So we're just gonna have a quick look at that now. So as you can see, when you can tap tell when it's in tablet mode because all of your icons are actually on your desktop. Whereas if you was in Chromebook mode, your desktop will be completely blank and you get to your icons from this button down here. Um, so in tablet mode, you can see that you've got all of your icon icons there and some are groups, like I've grouped them there. You may have to group them yourself if you want to. And here you'll see these dots. Now them dots are to show you there's four pages of apps to get to another page. You can simply scroll up and down by using your finger on the display, or you can just click on the dots as well with your press on the dots with your finger as well, like that. Now the main differences are if you open up a browser, so I'll quickly open up a browser and I will go to the BBC website and then I'll quickly open. Now, if I wanted that's on the BBC website, if I wanted to then open up another browser, what you'll see where it's changed, you don't see the icons at the bottom of the screen anymore. And that's done to give you more space to view. So as you can see, you've got a lot more space to view. So to get the icons up, you just use your finger here and just pull up ever so slightly. So it's just a quick flip like that. And then you will see the, the icons that you'd normally see on your desktop tray. And then to open up a new browser, just hold down on the Chrome there, just hold it down and then click on new window. And that opens up a new browser. So we quickly go to say CNN. And then we've got two websites open now. So I'll open up another one just to show you. So again, to open up one, you just very slightly click there hold down on Chrome. The reason why you hold down, if you just click on Chrome very quickly, it will just show you the websites that you've got open, but we want to open up a brand new browser. So that would be, you just hold down on Chrome and then that will give you the option to open up a new window. So click on there and let's just go to Wikipedia. Wikipedia, click on there, open up Wikipedia. So now we've got three websites open. Let's just quickly go to Chromebook, Let's search for Chromebook on Wikipedia, and we go. So we've got three websites open. Now, if you want to get back to your main desktop where you've got all of your apps to do that, from the bottom here, you just flick up with your finger really quickly. So if you did it slowly, it would bring up the menu option like that for your browser, Gmail, Docs, YouTube, Play Store. So it's not a slow flick, it's a quick flick up like that. And then you'll get back to your desktop where you can then open up another app or whatever you want to do. And your Chrome, as you will see, Chrome, there's that little marking underneath, which means there's an open window on that piece of software. You'll see on none of the other ones that's there. So that shows you that you've got an open window. So click on that and it will show you all of the ones you've got open. So you can go to BBC 
or you could flick up again, click on that and go to CNN. Now, another way of doing it, as I says, if you wanted to get back to your desktop, quickest way is to flick up very quickly and it will take you back to the desktop and leave them open. Now, if we open up one of these browsers again, now you can, we've got three um, websites open. So if you want to see all three websites and sw switch between each one, rather than doing it the way we've been doing it like that, the way you do it is to swipe up, but don't swipe up quickly because if you swipe up quickly, you'll have, it will go to like that and take you back to there. So you open one up and you just swipe up but keep your finger on the screen until you see something like that. You don't have to place it like that. You can just let go and then it will show you all of the windows you've got open and you can go from the one to the other like that. Now, this is how Google shows you to do this. It shows you to do it that way if you want to go from one to the other. The only thing I would say is sometimes you can do a bit too quick and it goes like that. So there's a better way of doing it. If you open up one of, one of them again like that, as it says, you hold down with your finger from the bottom until you see them and you let go. But if you're rushing around, you might actually just go like that and it go, takes you back to the main desktop. So the way around it is if you open up like that. Now, instead of from the bottom, down here, if you swipe from the top of the screen up here, this is where the address bar is, you don't have to worry about how quick you do it. So at the bottom, if you do it really quickly, as we said, it will take you back to that. But if you do it from the top really quickly, it does that for you straight away. So although it's exactly the same option as going like that from the bottom, holding down and letting go, because it's a tad bit clear and it's slightly longer to do, you can just do it from the top quickly and it will then show all three what are open, which is, is, is good to see. So if we go to CNN, I've got a clue what happened then. For some reason, CNN closed. That surely shouldn't have happened. Let's open it up again. Go to CNN, click on there. Now to look at the, say, different articles, let's just click on that article there. And it's brought up this tracking coronavirus, which we are all are obviously aware of at the moment. And let's go to another article there. Now, generally speaking, when you're using a browser, if you're using it with a keyboard and mouse, it's really easy to go back by just clicking using that there at the top there. However, doing that with a finger is a bit more fiddly. You can do it, of course, like so. And it will take you back on. But the better way to do it on the Chrome OS tablet is just to swipe, so from the it actually doesn't matter where you are. It does suggest that you should be here to do it, but it's not actually true. You could be over here to do it. All that matters is the, the way you're swiping and the way you will swipe your finger is in that direction like that. Now, as you see, when you swipe, it will then go back to the page before. And then if you wanted to then go forward where you'd normally choose from up here, you simply just swipe. And if you hold the display, you can see on the right hand side, the arrow. At the moment, if you let go, it won't go to the next page. It will just go, which I haven't, we need to hold down, hold down, pull across until it goes blue, like that and then let go. Obviously, you can do it much quicker. You haven't got to do it really slow like that. So you can just go, and that takes you from one page to the next. So that's really good as well, instead of having to use these up here, because it is hard when you're using your finger to click on very small things like that. 
Now, again, in relation to if you wanted to close a browser, you'll see that you've got your cross up there, which you can use, or you could just slide this from the bottom, just flick up very slowly so you get the, these options come up. If you quickly click on it, it shows the options. If you want to close them, you just hold it down. And then click close. If you do that, though, it will close every Chrome browser you've got open. So by that, I mean it would close all three of them. So if you wanted to close them individually, you press the X button. However, as you saw earlier on in this um, video, I accidentally closed CNN without realizing. So there must be an option there. So let's see if we can discover what that is. So scroll down from the top does that. Well, it's not if you hold it. It's obviously not if you click it. It's not if you double click it. Maybe the best way is just to do that. And then obviously you've got the X at the top of each one. You'll see there one, there one, there one. Just click X from there and that will close one of the windows for you as well. So I really do like this new Chrome OS tablet version. As you see, you've got a little extra room down here. And you pull up the trail. I do like that. That's really nice to see as well. And it's really nice that you can just go from one page to the next by doing that, which is really good to see. I love the fact you can just go really quick up from the bottom and it'll take you back to the desktop or from there, from the top, do it really quickly and it will show you all the windows you've got open. So that was a really quick video um, just to see, show you how you can use Chrome OS in tablet mode. I think it's got much better over the last couple of years. It's, 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 it's fantastic now. I really do like it. And you can do You can use Chrome OS now in tablet mode to, you know, just watch TV. And if you've got TV in the background, and you want to just have a casual browse on the internet, Chrome OS tablets now do have that all of what you need to do that. Whereas before I'd always go to my Android tablet because Chrome OS tablets are a bit hit and miss, but it has definitely improved and it's improving more and more over time. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel for future videos and also click on the like on the video as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you, bye.